Hey, another week and another unfiltered. I'm Rick Blood, and uh, it is the week of August 19th. Third week of August. Where does the time go again? Man, oh man, it seems like just yesterday I was sitting in here doing last week's show. Uh, but a lot of stuff has happened since last week. I had my eye cataract surgery taken care of. I want to thank uh, John Larson, uh, a great friend who uh, who chauffeured me back and forth uh, for my surgery, for actually for both surgeries, all of my follow-up appointments for my retina and uh, my one-day follow-up uh, for the cataract. Thanks, John. Uh, and again, the folks over at, at at Elliott Hospital there in the One Day Surgical Center did a great job, you know, very professional. Um, I, I had uh, local anesthesia, uh, which was, uh, they drug me up pretty good. It was a Valium to start. And then I th think, I think it was an Ativan. And the nurse had broken it in half and it was one of the things you put under your tongue, you know, and you let it dissolve. Um, and she was getting ready to give me that when the doc came in and he said, oh no, give him, give him the whole thing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it was, I remember being awake. Um, once I got into the, they wheeled me into the, the operating room and you know, the whole, the whole crew was in there and, uh, they covered this side of my face with, with the towel, you know, they only leave open the area that they're going to work on. So uh, they covered up this whole half of my face. So I couldn't really see anything of what he was doing. I could hear him talking. Um, and I was aware of, of the things that were going on. But um, again, I just, I didn't really care what was going on. Uh, it was one of those where you're there, but you're not really there. Uh, weird feeling. Uh, I got home. After the, uh, after the surgery, I slept a lot. <laughs> um, and then uh, the next day I went in and my, my vision's, you know, it's, it's on the mend. And uh, it, it still has a point where it's, it's coming and going a little bit, uh, but better every single day. Now the big, the big, like, pain in the butt is, is the eye drop regimen because I can't put them in myself. So, you know, I've got mom doing the eye drops for me, which means that, you know, I have to be home, you know, at those set, set eye drop times, you know, so it's, it's, it's still putting a little bit of a kink in my, in my plans. But, uh, Tuesday morning, the, uh, the car is going in, the van's going in for, uh, to get the side door finally fixed so I don't have to listen to that damn beeping and the warning telling me the damn door's open. Uh, so that'll finally get fixed. And then, you know, again, just a matter of, of you know, making all those payments every week and, and getting this thing paid off. So I can, I can enjoy a full, uh, full air show uh, season next season as far as my photography goes. But I'm working on some, uh, just did a custom piece this weekend, uh, a tribute to one of the, the guys in the Blue Angels who's leaving, uh, Lieutenant Tyler Davies. Uh, and I, of course I didn't load it up to show you folks, but um, a nice little composite, American flag, couple of uh, pictures of him, a uh, picture of him in the airplane, uh, you know, typical tribute type stuff. Uh, so I've been working on that. And uh, then again, going back through some of my old, old stuff, you know, some of the stuff from, from 2013, 2014, 2015, uh, some of my old landscape stuff and going through those folders again and, and making sure I didn't miss a great shot that, uh, that I want to put out. Ah, and again, uh, due to uh, scheduling uh, things that are going on this week, 
I'm shooting this on Monday morning instead of Tuesday morning uh, because my regular Wednesday show that I usually tape Wednesday morning, uh, she had some scheduling conflicts and has to tape on Tuesday morning this week. So, uh, and I also have to take my car in Tuesday morning as well. So I taped this on Monday. I don't really know what I'm gonna rant about, but uh, actually, before we do that, let me click this, just so I cover the back end of the show. And uh, let's go over here, see if I can think about anything to rant about. Aha, here we are. Uh, and I know this is the camera, this is the, this is the part that most of you folks like best. Because when I come over here, I'm going to yell and scream and, and berate somebody. So, and I'm totally unprepared, as usual, because, you know, that's just the way I am. I fly by the seat of my pants, um, take every moment as it comes, pretty much. Uh, you know, and that's, that's the exciting way to live. And, and a, a fantastic way to live, if I must say. Uh... Priests are in the news again. I'm, and again, I'm not paying close attention to the news because I'm happier when I don't pay attention to the news. And you will be too. Believe me. Don't watch the news for a week. You'll be the happiest person on your block. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Um, listen, to, listen to WKBK in the morning. You know? 10 minutes worth of news, top of the hour, eight minutes worth of news at the bottom of the hour. You know, that's all you need. Grab some headlines, um, you know, but look up other things. Last week was the uh, 49th anniversary of Woodstock. It was. And uh, on Friday evening, last Friday evening, I went over and, and sat with my good friend, Mike Daniele, and uh, we watched my old Woodstock episodes that I made in 2008. And I got to say, that was, you know, that was one of the show, one of the old unfiltered shows where I had the full crew. And I put a lot of work into those two episodes. Uh, so it was nice to, to re-watch that and see myself with, with lots of hair. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and talking about Woodstock because it was a great thing. Um, so that's, that was what I did Friday night and, oh, the priest thing. Yeah, that's about one of the th only things I see pop up this morning was the priest thing. And, uh, man, what do you say? What do you say about this, this, this whole topic? I mean, Can't, we can't ban religion because this country is founded on the freedom of religion and the freedom to believe what you want to believe. But religion is, is one of the major causes for every single war that's ever been fought. There are two things that start wars. The two biggest things that start wars. Politics and religion. Seems like the simple answer would be to get rid of both of those. Get rid of politics, get rid of religion. And again, I realize it's not just religion. And it's not just priests. And it's not every priest. It's these handfuls of sick degenerates who find themselves in positions of power and again power corrupts that's my point power corrupts that's why prison guards cops teachers coaches Priests, politicians. These are the people that find themselves in power and they don't think that, you know, that 
once they get in that power, apparently they should be able to do what they want. Because they hold the power over the people that they're abusing. You know, and, and, and again, um, is it Larry Nasser, the, the USA gymnastics coach? Deplorable what that, what that guy did. He should be somebody that, that people and kids look up to. Priests, the same way. Coaches, teachers. I guess uh, Sunday night there was a, a thing on Discovery Channel. I believe they said it was Discovery Channel about Pamela Smart. Remember Pamela Smart? She was the, the teacher uh, here in New Hampshire that uh, got convicted because they say that she arranged for these three high school kids who were supposedly her boyfriends. Uh, she arranged for them to kill her husband. But she's saying that, that it was a bad trial. Uh, she's innocent. She has always, you know, upheld her, her claim of innocence. Um, so, you know, I, remember I had some pretty good looking teachers that, that I had crushes on when I was in school, but I don't think I ever would have killed their husband. Uh, so I, I don't know. It's, uh, it's crazy. But it's people in power that that's the only way that this stuff can happen. You know? It's the whole, you know. And again, uh, I heard, uh, I'm going to tie this in because uh, the big sound bite on Monday morning was truth isn't the truth. Rudy Giuliani saying truth, you know, truth isn't the truth. What it boils down to is the, it's the, the he said, she said, he said, he said, she said, she said thing. You know? One person claims one thing, another person claims the other thing. If there are no other witnesses, then what do you do? And that's how these, these sexual predators operate. It's the whole, well, who do you think they're going to believe? Are they going to believe me, the coach, or are they going to believe you, the lowly, you know, troubled student? or troubled altar boy or, or, or whatever, you know? That's, that's the kind of stuff with these, you know, when you give people power and they abuse it. I go back to, what was it, the Stanford College Project at the Stanford University. They're the ones that did the college project about, you know, they took half the class and they made them prisoners and the other half and made them guards. And some of the most timid people that ended up being guards ended up being the most brutal bastards treating prisoners horribly just because of that power. All about power, you know? Once you have something over somebody else, you know, it, it, in, in some people's minds, it puts them, you know, above. And that's just wrong. That's, that's just wrong. Um, let me think. Oh, there was something. Uh, I think I failed to mention. I believe I failed to mention. Uh, in last week's show, I'd gone grocery shopping over in Hinsdale at the, at the super duper Walmart. Uh, because generally I can, you know, fly in there, fly out quick and easy, get all my grocery shopping, everything in, in one damn location. You know, if I need a pair of socks and, and you know, a gallon of milk, I can, I can get them in the same place. Uh, so I went over there last weekend, 11, 11.30 in the morning. I was checking out sometime just around noon. And uh, three cash registers open to start. They opened a fourth one. 
So a total of four cash registers open at a noon on a Saturday in a super Walmart that has 20 checkouts. I heard some old guy behind me in line going off to a manager about how he had frozen foods and what, what the hell was it gonna be by the time he got out of here and, and this and that. And I heard the manager tell him, we are hiring, nobody's filling out applications. How great of a, how great of a thing is that? When businesses are hiring, but nobody's filling out applications. It sucks when you're standing in that cashier's line for 45 minutes. But the fact is, is that more people are shopping and less people are working on Saturdays. What I'm trying to say is apparently the economy is getting better. I don't know, or at least for them stupid jobs, you know, all the, all the, 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 uh, the non-educated people must be working. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, when I hear something like that, it makes me think, you know, that, that there are plenty of jobs out there. And, you know, maybe not enough workers. Then again, who's going to stoop to, you know, doing a job like that? You know, after all, we're Americans. We shouldn't have to service people. Get over yourselves, people. Get over yourselves. <sighs> I don't know. All right. Uh... What else was I going to talk about? You know, again, I haven't been watching a whole lot of news. The, the truth isn't always the truth is, is something that, yeah, we're at a point. And again, because we're at a point in time where the news is a profit-driven business, And news is not just facts anymore. I said this last week. The news has turned into opinion. And, you know, us normal people, I don't care what the, what Joe Scarborough thinks, you know, I don't really care, you know, what any of those news people think. I want them to do their damn jobs and report the news. Give me the damn facts and shut your mouth. You know, even the weather. You know, the weatherman can't just tell you what kind of a day it's going to be. He's got to tell you his opinion on why the weather is the way it is. You know? Tell us what the weather is and shut up. Tell us what the news is, the facts of the case, the facts of the story, and shut up about it. There was a great scene, you know, uh, in the Woodstock movie where... Uh, actually, in my Woodstock show, where I showed the, the Keen headline that was in the Keen Sentinel from the weekend that Woodstock happened in 1969. And the, Keen, the, the headline in the Keen newspaper said, uh, Music Festival Nightmare Ends. Now, it's... In some aspects, it was a nightmare. Traffic was a nightmare. Uh, food was a nightmare. Uh, in other aspects, 500,000 people 
mostly young people in their teens and 20s ended up all in one place all at the same time for three days there was one overdose death there was one death where uh, a guy was run over by a tractor because he was sleeping in a field uh, in a sleeping bag and uh, the tractor ran over him those were the only deaths there was a number of overdoses uh, but not deaths just what they called bad reactions to drugs which was mostly acid and uh, no fights nothing 500,000 people all in one place all at the same time no fights no violence but it was a nightmare it wasn't a nightmare folks it was one of the best things in the 1960s to happen brought people from all races all all colors all sizes together for three days of peace, love, and music. That's right. I'm pretty sure that's a trademarked uh, phrase right there. But uh, <laughs> anyway, um, where the hell was I going with that story anyway? Oh, the, uh, the news. Yeah. Um, you know, lay out the facts. And that's all you have to do for the news. You know, don't worry about ratings, you know, just give us the facts. Give us what we need to hear about what's going on. I mean, I've, over the past friggin' six months, I haven't heard anything about ISIS. Not even sure they still exist. Or Al-Qaeda. Hell, I don't know. So, you know, we're worried about all the bad things, all the wrong things, and we're not worried about the right things. Uh, oh, there was an environment thing. I thought there was an environment thing. God, I can't remember. I think that Valium that they gave me last week is, is affecting my memory or something, or else I'm getting Alzheimer's or there must be some other reason why I can't remember stuff. <laughs> I just can't remember what that is. <laughs> anyway, uh, what's coming up? Uh, with the city is still on break. City council is still on their, their August break. Uh, the school meetings are starting again. Uh, we had a school board last uh, Tuesday night. We have, uh, I've got an education committee uh, Tuesday night, the night that you're watching this, you probably may have watched, uh, you'll be watching some of that. Uh, it airs again on Wednesday evening, I believe. Uh, you'll see the Education Committee on Channel 10. Uh, a reminder that uh, October 2nd is when uh, Treasure TV Channel 8, 135.8, 10, 135.10, We'll be making a channel change to 1301-1302. Get in touch with Spectrum Cable down on Eagle Court. Get yourself squared away so that uh, you know that you don't miss uh, an exciting minute of Cheshire TV. And uh, I've got to say, on Cheshire TV News, we've got uh, a bunch of uh, new content on its way in. Mark has started pulling shows from the New Hampshire Coalition for Community Media. Uh, they have a website and uh, where public access stations in New Hampshire can upload their local shows and then other public access stations can download their shows and air them. Uh, we've got a show, Noshing with Nina, one of our newer shows, uh, November and Beyond, a cornucopia of, uh, of things... Uh, political, environmental, uh, and humanitarian, I believe, that Dave Kirkpatrick is, uh, is producing uh, at this time. Uh, the Craig Dallas Rice Show, uh, a great uh, variety show, interviews, music uh, by a very talented guy, Craig Dallas Rice. 
Still have the O Melodious show with Zach Benton. He is uh, branching out in the world. He's got uh, his show on all three Australian public access stations. Uh, so Zach is, is getting more and more famous by the day. Uh, the Learning of Music with Pat, Art of Being Human, Sunshine for Your Life, View from Here with Gerhard Bedding, Tip of the Iceberg, uh, very informative show. We have uh, MPA today, and I'm not sure, uh, Monadnock Progressive Alliance has started doing a show. Uh, so that will be airing. Uh, watch your listings for that. Uh, all kinds of great stuff happening, and it's starting next week, uh, Wednesday night, is we kick off uh, city committee meetings again with MSFI and PLD live on channel 10, 135-10. Uh, we're down to about a minute. Let's, uh, let's go back over here and, uh, and wrap this thing up. Credits are ready to roll. Again, it's been a, a fairly slow week, a, a non, really a non-news week. We've had a lot of rain. Dublin had a couple of roads washed out um, on Saturday night or Sunday night. Saturday night, I believe. Uh, it's been a rainy, a rainy period, and uh, maybe next next week, maybe I'll I'll talk a little bit about uh, about why I think we're getting a lot of rain. Hmm. And, and yeah, I've, I've got uh, I've got some theories, so uh, <laughs> not just you know not just that's the way it goes, but uh, I've got some theories. Uh, I'm I'm tossing around up here, scrambling up, um, and I'll I'll try and get them in in order for you folks for next week. But uh, I guess until then, I'm Rick Blood. This is Unfiltered. Peace.